A proposed ban on scattering ashes in public places in Kapiti, north of Wellington, has been called stupid. The Kapiti Coast District Council's draft bylaw, expected to be approved next month, proposes to ban people from emptying urns on beaches, rivers and parks. But Katrina Shanks, the chief executive of the Funeral Directors Association, says it's bonkers that grieving families should be lumped with needing a permit if they want to scatter their loved ones' ashes in the Kapiti area. The councils responded by saying the bylaw is more of a guide than a decree that they'll actively police, but Katrina Shanks isn't convinced. No, actually, I think it goes a bit further than that the proposed bylaw. I think it's actually intending to be that if you're a grieving family and you'd like to scatter the ashes of your loved one, you have to go to the council and receive written approval to do that before you can do that. So it's a little bit a further step than what, what you think it is. I can imagine actually there would be a bit of ash scattering up that coastline, looking across towards Carpety. People would love that place and want to be there. Have you heard about it happening a lot? Well, we know that in New Zealand, around 70% of um, people of New Zealand are cremated, so there are a lot of ashes in New Zealand. And many of those ashes are interred um, into a plot or into the plot with a loved one. And many of those ashes are scattered. And the important thing is that the people, families, have the choice of where they'd like to scatter those ashes and respectfully scatter those ashes. Isn't that what this is about? I'm just reading in Fairfax, the council's open spaces manager, which is a lovely job title, and he says it's all very well for the family to say that was granddad's request. It might have been granddad's request, but what about the rest of the public who are now emotionally influenced by what's happened there? In other words... I guess it's about where and when you scatter, isn't it? That's absolutely right. And we know many families, it's, they respectfully scatter their ashes. It's a very private time for those families where they get together and scatter those ashes in that special space. And most families take consideration of the environment they're in, the people around them, and the culturally sensitive issues which face some of our communities. So many of our families take that into consideration already when they scatter their ashes. I don't believe that you need to regulate if there is no evidence of harm. And we haven't seen any evidence of harm in this instance. So what would you say to the Kapiti Coast District Council? I would say it's a bit of a sledgehammer for the issue that they've got. I think they need to go out and, and seek some evidence about where the harm is. And if they still have concerns after that, I don't think you necessarily need to regulate in the first instance. They could um, develop some guidelines in which they could then pass them over to the funeral directors who, when the families come in and say we're going to scatter our ashes, the funeral con directors can give them some expert advice and, and how to do that and the sensitivities around scattering ashes. Katrina Shanks from the Funeral Directors Association.